Hey guys, have you all caught wind of that link making the rounds about Har Jong being Guan He's longtime fan? If you're out of the loop, I'm here to break it down for you. But first quick disclaimer. Everything in this video is alleged and should not be taken as facts. This video is based on rumors and gossip, so let's keep it chill. No need for any hate or drama okay? So let's start. According to netizens and all the spoilers flying around online, Guan He is actually from a wealthy home. His pops owns a bunch of factories around Korea, so he's never exactly lived that struggle life. As you all know by now, he is also a professional basketball player earning between 450 to 500,000 US dollars per year. And he's actually quite popular in Korea. Now, on to the interesting part. Netizens claim that although they may not know how many of the participants on the show knew each other or were familiar with Guan He before they saw him in Inferno, two situations stood out. Hey Sun did not know him, she apparently drew a blank when she first found out his profession in paradise, but Har Jong's behavior raised eyebrows. So netizens started digging around and they discovered that allegedly, Har Jong had been a fan of Guan He since 2018 because she liked a couple of his photos at that time on Instagram. Here are the pictures. Notice Har Jong's IG handle on the list of people who liked the photos. And to them the reason why this is important is because the producers do not usually allow the males and females to like each other's posts or follow each other until the show's airing is over. Remember their first meeting. That excited reaction of hers even had Guan He raising an eyebrow and throwing out questions about where she lived, trying to suss out if she knew him beforehand. This discovery has caused a lot of heat among fans. Some say it's no biggie, arguing we can't prove when she hit that like button. Others reckon it's a big deal, suggesting it might explain her vibe on the show, like her reactions to Guan He's jokes or agreeing to sleep under his feet. They speculate that her attitude might be more chilled with Guan He because she was a fan and knew who he was, that she would never have accepted that situation from anyone else. So, there's been a lot of chatter about Hei Jong completely laser-focused on Guan He only. Hei Sun talked about getting to know the other guys, even Min Young however controversial her behavior was, talked about getting to know others. Only Ha Jong was different and not giving anyone else a chance and totally dropped Min Kyu whom she first went on a date with. They also noted even though Guan He was into her, he got a bit freaked thinking she might be a fan or someone who knows about him referencing their first date in paradise which was like a game of, let's test each other out. He throws out he's a YouTuber and she goes, I don't watch boring YouTube videos ouch. Guan He tries to pull her leg, saying she must have watched to know it's boring. The claim is that she tried to accommodate Guan He and zeroed in on him, which made the guy see her more like a fan or friend than a potential partner. <laughs> it is being said that Guan He must have encountered a lot of fans like this before. So he may have seen the traits in her but still kept the possibility of being with her open since he wasn't sure. But the time he made the blunder with the ladies, the first person he went to according to the show was Hei Sun. Hei Sun mentioned this to the ladies when discussing his rude behavior in their room. She said he wanted to find out from her how she felt about what happened when he misspoke. However, after the ladies' chat, Har Jong took a bold step and scolded Guan He about the repercussions of his actions and how she was so done in pursuing him. This may have ticked Guan He off, as he later explained to the others that he's narrowed his choice to one person only. Then Har Jong backtracked after scolding him and apologizes. People are split about her move. Some think she shouldn't have apologized to him. 
especially when she said that her outburst was out of jealousy, something she claimed wasn't the case when she was correcting him. Fans say she should have maintained her stand and stuck to her decision that this would have proven she wasn't a thirsty fan longing to date her celebrity crush. By the time she did this 180 and apologized to him, Guanhe seemed like his mind was already made up because even though she was opening up to him, something he usually liked, he seemed entirely disinterested and has distanced himself from her. His behavior turned colder, to the point of telling her to grab her own sweater when she mentioned feeling cold. People online mention he treats Hei Sun in a distinct manner because she's up front, doesn't beat around the bush, and plus, she didn't know who he was. In my view, if she was truly a fan. Pretending not to know him was smart, celebrities usually steer clear of dating fans for safety reasons. But if I were her, I'd have dropped a hint about him looking somewhat familiar during that first date in paradise. Also, playing along with uncomfortable games might have made him see her more as a fan or friend than a potential partner. The second T is based on Guangyi's final choice on the show. This screenshot suggests whom his final choice is. Here is a screenshot of a Google translation of Guanhe's social media story. According to netizens, he had posted these book phrases before the show's release right before basketball season, hinting about missing Hei Sun, making netizens conclude his final pick was Hei Sun. It's unclear if he directly mentioned Hasten's name in the post or if it was edited to look like that. So, what's your take on this? Does knowing Harjong might have been a fan connect some dots for you? Or is it all irrelevant? And that message, is it proof enough he chose Hasen? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.